a pain culture, of Gaza, the pain of Israel. There is Everyone a, is suffering. There is a real culture of, of atrocities that is coming forward with a whole army called ISIS, Hamas, and Al-Qaeda. It was in 9-11. It's in beheading people in Europe. It's in torturing and, and doing what the Houthis are doing down south. It's all over the region. Either we fight them or not. Exactly. That took a long time until Winston Churchill took over, after he threatened and alerted against the Nazi regime. We paid the price. We caved in. We enabled again and again and again to have ceasefires. And what happened? What happened? The highest amount of Jews killed since World War II, since the Holocaust, was on 7th of October. It's eight times more in proportional numbers than 9-11. What else do you expect us to do? How do we to protect ourselves as a family, member in a family of nations? What's our right here? We don't want to inflict pain. We tell people move out. But we have to get these terrorists and get them out. That's what we're trying to do right now. And believe me, we don't want to be there. We are not a warmongering nation. We have 350,000 of our sons and daughters mobilized in this battle simply for one reason, to defend ourselves and to protect our people. So many around the world, including in the region, were shocked and condemned what happened on October the 7th. But now all eyes are on this war, including what the UN describes as a humanitarian catastrophe. You say that UN officials are thanking you in private. They are grateful for every lorry which comes through. Yeah, we have but they a are dramatic saying, increase. But, but the, we have a dramatic increase. The United increase. Nations says there has to be much more. The United States says there will be much more. How much more will you allow? And now it is, to use the words of the United Nations, a trickle. There's, I must tell you, there's one thing that you keep on doing, is repeating the United Nations. First well, of all, the I'm the not ground. sure it's the only objective element in, this, in the region. Well, many okay? of your Western allies they, are saying Some of the positions well. of the United Nations also led to this situation. Their indifference to the pain of Israelis being killed endlessly by terror is unacceptable I, I and unforgivable. Fair, I can tell you that. It happened throughout we, in the last 25 years. We, I can show you we, statement we after statement after statement. After after statement. I went we, to bereave families in the last two years, every, almost every week, unfortunately, who were, who were uh, killed by terror. I said it in a joint session of the House in mid-July. I said the whole problem, the core of the problem with our relations with the Palestinians is terror. Accepting terror is unacceptable. Now let's go back. Okay, let's I respect the, the, the yes. operations of the United Nations, but they are working with us in conjunctions. We are, are increasing dramatically. How the inc the, the uh, humanitarian aid to Gaza, we have supplied much, uh, we've doubled the amount of water supply again. Water and electricity were all demolished by Hamas for itself against its own. You also so let's just admit to that. that you we did not cut off water and electricity. They bombed and it's, minister, it's proven. It's just control. like, you know, I, I don't want to go into yes, the corner okay. of whether the BBC has been objective or not. I'm, I don't want to be there. I'm saying it. I'm saying it because I mean, Hamas missiles, it's agreed by all, brought down the electricity grid in Gaza. They have demolished and put uh, on hold the entire water operation of Gaza. Israel supplies only 7% of the water in Gaza. And now we've increased the water to Gaza.